another type of short-term business decision that we may incur uh, would be whether or not we need to eliminate an unprofitable product or an unprofitable segment of our business. And there are a couple of things that a company should focus on here. Again, remember, we always focus on relevant costs, not sunk costs or irrelevant costs, only those costs which vary between alternatives. And we have to consider the effect on our other product lines or our other um, segments as well. We have to make sure that the fixed costs allocated to the unprofitable segment are going to be absorbed by our other segments. And if not, our net income actually might go down even if we eliminate an unprofitable segment. So the decision rule here is going to be to retain the segment unless fixed costs eliminated exceed the contribution margin loss. So let's look at some questions that we might need to consider. Um, so if manufacturing capacity is limited, managers must decide which products to produce. So if the shelf space is limited in the stores, managers have to decide which products to display and sell. And they often have to decide whether or not to drop products, departments, or territories that are not profitable as desired. So let's look at how these decisions are made, beginning with some questions that managers must consider when deciding whether to drop a product or business segment. So first, the manager must ask if the product or segment provides a positive contribution margin. The manager must also determine if the fixed cost will continue to exist even if the company drops the product or segment. And are there any direct fixed costs that can be avoided if the company drops the product or segment? Sometimes we are able to avoid some costs if we drop a line. Or will dropping the product or segment affect sales of the company's other products? And finally, uh, what would we do with the freed manufacturing capacity? So could we make another product that might be more profitable? So again, we're gonna follow those two key guidelines for special business decisions, focusing on relevant data and using a contribution margin approach. The relevant data are still the changes in revenues and expenses, but now we're considering a decrease in volume rather than an increase as we did in special pricing. Let's figure out how managers decide to drop a product, and we're going to use an example here. And they would use the same whether to drop a business segment, such as a territory or department. I'm actually going to look at dropping an unprofitable segment. I misspoke a second ago. Okay, so we have a company here, and this particular company has three models of tennis rackets. They have the Pro, the Master, and the Champ line. And they're trying to figure out, should they get rid of Champ here because it has a negative net income? Um, so we can see the sales of the various companies and then the company overall. In this case, all three lines have a profit of 220000 so again, should we eliminate CHAMP? It is losing money, obviously. Now, if we eliminate CHAMP, here's what we need to realize, that the $30,000 of fixed costs, unless we can avoid them, are going to have to be assigned then into our pro and master lines. So for example, we have a large manufacturing facility where we're making all three units. Just because we quit making CHAMP doesn't mean that we're going to get rid of our taxes, our insurance, the lease on the building. All of those are going to stay. So those two profitable product lines will now need to absorb the $30,000 in fixed costs. So the way that we go ahead and do that is we allocate out those $30,000 to Pro and Master. And this particular company decided to give two-thirds of those costs to pro, so their fixed costs went from eighty to a hundred thousand, and master's fixed costs went from fifty to sixty thousand. Now we've covered all thirty thousand of the unavoidable fixed costs left over from Champ. The variable costs go away; that's not an issue. What happens to our net income? It actually goes down by ten thousand dollars again because now my two profitable lines have to absorb the fixed costs from the line that's been discontinued. If we did a um, incremental analysis or differ differential analysis, you can see what would happen here as well. So here would be our costs if we continue the CHAMP line. 
We make $100,000, variable costs are 90. So it has a positive contribution margin of $10,000. It's just not high enough to cover the fixed costs of $30,000. Now if we eliminate it, we're going to get rid of all the potential sales revenue and the extra $10,000 in contribution margin, but we still have the $30,000 of costs left over, which means we're $10,000 in the hole between the two. So in this case, we actually would not eliminate CHAMP. Although it's losing money, we're going to lose more money if we get rid of it. So to summarize, when we're considering whether or not to drop a segment, the decision rule is as follows. If the lost revenues exceed the total cost savings, then we don't drop the product or segment. If the lost revenues are less than the total cost savings, then we do drop it. 